Hey guys, so obviously you've been trying to log into your newly migrated Mojang account and well, let's just say it it's not working and uh, don't, don't freak out. I mean, you know, you, you've lost all hope and you'll never be able to log in again. No, I'm, I'm joking. You'll basically be able to log in again. It'll be perfectly fine. Don't, don't freak out guys. It, it'll be fine. Everything will be okay. Okay, so what we're going to do first of all, unless you haven't actually done any sort of migration or anything like that yet, when you were in your account earlier today, you probably saw some sort of link down the bottom that said something about migrations are occurring and things like that. And there was also a second one that said that your account was now able to be migrated. After clicking that, you would receive something along the lines of this sort of an email, which will basically say that there's some sort of combination that you had to enter and then basically it took you to the Mojang website. Now from there what would have happened is probably it would have said something along the lines that it detected that you had a Windows account or a Microsoft account and it basically linked those two together. So you now have a Microsoft account linked in with your Mojang account. What this means is that logging in this way no longer works. So we need to do something a little bit different. So this is where things get interesting and this is where we fix the problem. So what we need to do first of all here is do nothing and we want to go back. So first of all, we're going to go back to this screen. Unless you're already on it, you need to go back to it. And what we're going to do from here is we're going to go to the add account option because this is your old login from your old Mojang account and we're going to add a new account. Now this time, unless you've ever done this before or remember 10 years ago when you did this last, you'll now have the option for a Microsoft login. So from here, we want to obviously click the Microsoft login button and you now get this. So it will be a very familiar looking screen if you've ever played Bedrock version before. And basically what you want to do is you want to enter in your Microsoft account information. So you may be using this for Windows or something like that. If you can't remember, hopefully you've logged into it with an iPhone at some stage, possibly would have done something like that maybe if you are playing Pokemon Go on your iPhone. And through the iPhone, you actually have something called a keychain that allows you to look up old passwords, which is very useful. Uh, Android, well, some of them have things kind of like that. And it's sort of touch and go, depending on what kind of device you're using as to whether or not you can see old passwords again. But if you can, look it up that way. So what I want you guys to do now is to enter your email address that you use for Microsoft, which is quite simple and quite easy. Hopefully you remember what it is uh, because, you know, most people sort of don't. And uh, that's a common problem, unfortunately. And then obviously a password, which hopefully you remember that as well, because if it's the same as your Windows one, you're, you're probably actually using some sort of six digit pin or something like that to log into Windows or your face or possibly a fingerprint. And you probably don't remember what it is. So again, hopefully you've written it down somewhere or hopefully it's on a keychain somewhere on a mobile device and you can look it up. If, if you can't remember what it is, there is of course a recovery option through Microsoft that you can go through. Just remember uh, not to enter your username and password or anything like that into any third party apps because obviously that's that's a bad idea. Don't don't ever enter Microsoft account information into anything other than Microsoft or something that you know is connected to Microsoft like Mojang that's owned by Microsoft. And you should in all hope now get something like this. Now Obviously your username may have changed a little bit. You see, I use Bedrock as well. And of course my full power pillock is now shortened down to my Bedrock version, which is full power PLK. And from here, we should be able to just click the let's go button. And that should in a few moments, hopefully bring us back into this screen, which you can just click on Java on the left-hand side everything will be perfectly identical. You will have your same old installations. Obviously I've reset my computer recently, so I don't have anywhere near as many as I used to. And also the same skin that 
you had should be there. It was there before before I recorded this video. I don't know what's going on with WebGL. Don't you you won't see that screen. Ignore that. It will be all perfectly fine. Everything should be fine. Worst comes to worst, go through the Microsoft Recover account information screens, that sort of thing. You'll be able to get your username and password. It will all be okay. Unless you see a screen like this, then you're in deep trouble. But aside from that, basically, that's it. If you have any further questions, comments, queries, all that sort of jazz, let me know in the description down below. If it helps you out at all, drop a like on the video and share with your mates and all that sort of stuff. So hopefully this has helped you out and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Catches.